So Proxmox kind of stepped in and has become the new hypervisor that a lot of people are using in place of ESXi. Previous updates have changed so now you can import those ESXi machines and put them into Proxmox. And now they're going even a step further. So when you're setting up your disks for your Proxmox server, when it has like the types, so it's a like for OS storage, ISO storage, actual VMs, container storage, stuff like that, they're actually gonna have another type called import. And now from there, you'd be able to click on that drive in your node and be able to import OVA, OVF files straight into it to be used in your Proxmox server. So this is a big jump because in the past, it was a very complicated process to import the OVF or OVA files into the server. And then you would have to convert them over, import them into a machine, and it was a whole process. I've actually had in the past where I was getting VMs from school that were built out in ESXi and to run them in my Proxmox server was a huge hassle. So I'm really glad to see stuff like this is coming out more.